Hi everybody. So sometimes people like to ask the question, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? And it seems like the majority of people have trouble deciding between flight and invisibility. I don't get it. So I've wanted to fly for as long as I can remember. And I've had several dreams about flying ever since I was a little kid. So I think flying would be super awesome, but I wouldn't want invisibility. I'll tell you why in a little bit. But another power that I think would be super awesome is having the power to breathe underwater, especially if it was joined with the power of not getting water in your ears. I've loved swimming ever since I was little, to the point that I would pretend to be a mermaid whenever I swam in my grandparents' pool. And because I was pretending to be a mermaid, I would go underwater a lot. And therefore I got water in my ears a lot. I think I had swimmer's ear at least a dozen times as a kid. So I don't go underwater as much now. Still, being able to breathe underwater would be really cool. I'd still choose flying though. Oh, but if super healing worked on allergies, I might have to change my mind to that. Cause then I could eat fruit again and my friends could eat cheese and gluten and all that stuff without problems. That would be nice. Otherwise, flight. But I would not want invisibility. Sometimes it seems like I already have invisibility and it's not fun at all. Okay, it can be a little funny when I'm backstage and I'm walking like a normal person and then I stop next to someone and I startle them. That's kind of funny. I don't try to sneak, but this scenario is really common whenever I work tech backstage. And it is kind of funny, but when I'm in a group of people hanging out somewhere and they forget I'm there, it isn't fun at all. When you're sitting somewhere and you've been there for ages and then somebody says, Hey, where's Genevieve? It's weird. I've been here the whole time. I never left. For the longest time, this was the only kind of invisibility I experienced, and that was hard enough to deal with. But I've made the discovery that being out in a group of people and no one wondering where you went because they've simply stopped acknowledging your existence, that's worse. And it also feels absolutely terrible when the waiter for your group's table doesn't even acknowledge your existence. Do you not see the lack of anything in front of me? That's the part where you start to wonder if you are actually invisible. And it stinks. So I would not want the power of invisibility. Going from that though, I can think of one good use for invisibility. If you were working on a production where a pen had to start writing by itself, or something needed to float, or a food item needed to be eaten by someone invisible, that would be a good use of that power. Otherwise, just let me have the power of flight. Thanks for watching.